Hey right, guys, today I'm out here painting newt boxes, six frame newt boxes, and we're going to do a beekeeping on the cheap video. And I build these out of a Vantech. I go dumpster diving, get them out of dumpsters at wherever they're building houses. Sometimes you can actually find a Vantech at where they're building like convenience stores. But a Vantech is supposedly something you can soak in water for 12 months and it won't separate. Well, I say bull on that. But over the years of doing this, I've developed a way that seems like it works. They don't come apart. And I'm about building something once and it lasting for years, not half do it, put it out there, and a year or two later, you're going back, you're you're repairing the corners where they've rotted out or the water water's gotten through and the wood's starting to separate. So Vantag, it's, it's a hard wood. I think the guy was telling me when I was talking to him, it's eight inches thick of chipboard and everything and glue. And by the time they get through compressing it under, a, I think it's an eight ton press, you get the three quarter inch board out of it. But it's basically a souped up OSB in my opinion. Like I said, it it's what I use because it's free. I glue the seams. As you can see, I, I use a 40 year caulk and I'll caulk over the staple holes. I use a quarter crown, inch and a half staples that are coated the uncoated ones will back out. I could take you out to the yard and show you some of the ones I did years ago where the gaps opened up, but you glue and staple and they won't come apart. The other thing I do is I'll mix tight bond three. I'll put a little bit of water in it, maybe a quarter. I'll use a cup of, a cup of it and maybe a quarter, an eighth to a quarter of a cup of water and dilute it down. And I've got a little paintbrush over here, and I cut the, I'll just use this one to show you, but it's, it's half the size of this, and I'll cut the, the bristles so that they're maybe three quarters of an inch long. And I'll turn it up on its end, and I'll run a bead of that diluted down glue and rub it into these corners, because I do butt joints. I don't do all that fancy stuff. And I'll let that dry. Here during the winter, I've got a wood heater. It's about 75, 80 degrees in here now. I'll let that dry and then I'll come back over it with the regular undiluted glue because the ends are bad to separate. Let that dry. I'll do the top edge and I'll do the bottom edge. Other thing is it's tongue and groove. So if you use the tongue and groove part, I cut the tongue off, but if I use the groove part, You've got to make sure you fill in the area down here. You'll get bugs in this channel. So I just take sawdust off the table saw, mix it with the Type Bond 3 glue, and putty it in there, and that stops that. But the, th the main thing about it is you've got to get the paint on there and get it down in every one of these little bitty cracks. So first off, I take, I've got an old paintbrush. I'll sit here and I'll dust it. Get all the dust off of it. Do it all the way around. I don't know if you can see all that dust coming off of it. Dust from the workshop does tend to collect on stuff being stored. First coat of paint, I don't really care how it goes on. I do it in all different directions the first coat because every one of these little pieces of chip is at a different angle. So I'm trying to get every one of these little cracks some paint in it. I'm not going to bore you with painting the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you the, the gist of the idea. But you paint at all different angles. Because, like I said, you want to get that paint down in every one of those little cracks. Because one crack over time We'll let the water seep in and it'll start coming apart. Okay, this, we're going to pretend this whole thing is done. After that, after it dries, 
We've got some over here that have been painted already. After that, I use three coats. I don't buy cheap paint either. $5 a gallon. I've got a guy that has the contract with Sherman, Will Sherman Williams and all the mist tents and returns and everything he gets, and I get it from him for $5 a gallon. This, this super paint, it's an exterior acrylic latex. This is like $40 or $50 a gallon. I got this for $5. Be keeping on the cheap. These buckets it's on, these are five gallons of exterior white. Friend of mine, you got to have uh, people in the in the high spots that can sign this stuff out. But when they get through doing paint jobs at the plant he works at, he just got a ticket, brought it home, gave it to me. Anyway, back to this. After this is dried, the second coat, I'll put three coats on. Like I said, a second coat, I will do up and down, all the way across. That kind of gets every crease that's going up and down. The next time I'll come back and I'll do it long-wise, and that should get all of them. You know, I'm very particular on the first coat because, like I said, I want it in every one of these little cracks. Second two, then you take... You're going to get a little bit on here on the channel or, or, or the top of it. I just go through and wipe it off with my finger. Like I said, that's glued too. And that's basically it. Beekeeping on the cheap. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Share the video if you want. If, you got, if any of you guys are using a Vantech and got a better idea, Please drop it in the comment below. I'm always looking to up the game and get it stuff better because I don't have time to be out there every year repairing every box in the yard. Have a great day.